Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Thomas Spark. Welcome back to another video. Uh, you might be wondering, Tom, what are you looking at? Well, I'm looking at my Mac. It's not something I use often because my primary device for reviewing VPNs is usually uh, on PC, since that is the place most people use VPNs. Before we get to that guys, if you want to help support the channel and test out some of my favorite products, you might want to check out some of my links and discount codes in the description down below. Some of my favorite products on this channel include Incogni. Incogni is a great service to remove information about yourself on the internet so someone doesn't dox you. Additionally, if you're looking to delete more information about yourself, you might need to do it within the apps you use day to day. A service like Redact will help you do that. You could delete all your Discord DMs, all your Discord messages, all your Reddit posts, and even stuff on Instagram too. Definitely a great service to protect your privacy online if you're starting to get paranoid like me. If you guys are thinking about investing in crypto or stocks, my preferred option is eToro. It's one of the few exchanges out there that is very reputable. It has no history of being hacked. You get really good interest on it, 4.9% annual interest, which is the highest you can really get right now. And it has all the popular cryptos that you really want to invest in, like Ethereum and Bitcoin, a super easy to use interface. And I do believe you could get even a sign up bonus if you use my link in the description down below you don't have to support the channel if you don't want to you can check out these services on your own and like i said this is not sponsored but those affiliate links directly help support the channel now i don't usually use a mac uh i use it for certain things i kind of like to stream some sport events from it uh beam it to my um apple tv um for that kind of ecosystem um, um it's it's like one of the best ways to kind of stream something to the tv in my opinion um but i also like to use it for um i used to write uh, my fantasy book on it um overall they make pretty good laptops but it's not my main computing device that said i am pretty experienced in testing vpns and today we're going to be looking at some of my top rated vpns on mac specifically that you should use i'm going to be putting links for these in the description down below this is a unsponsored video i am an affiliate for pretty much every single vpn though and these special affiliate links usually give you the best ongoing deal however if you don't want to help support the channel and you just want to go to the website yourself you could do that as well i'll be putting those links in the description down below for the best discounts and let's go ahead and get into these VPN Mac kind of situation. Um, so we're gonna type in <clears throat> on the App Store, VPN. Now the first thing you're gonna probably see is some of these things like this. I don't know why Hotspot Shield's always so highly rated here or highly ranked, um, but you'll have a lot of the apps like VPN Proxy Master. Now most of these VPNs, like this one as well, maybe even this one, a lot of these VPNs are just kind of like Chinese owned and they're not really VPNs I would recommend to be using. Um, I don't know how these VPNs have gamed the system, but they always manage to get to the top of these kind of rankings here. It could be a combination of maybe that they're free services and they ask people for reviews and you could get more time or something like that. Automatically kind of inflating the value of what these VPNs seem like, um, at least in terms of their um, how good they are. Um, it's kind of interesting to see Orbot right there. Um, but you know what vpns should you use well if we're kind of looking at my top five vpns we're going to be listing out which one you should use and why so the number one vpn on my tier list is going to be torguard and you could find it right here now torguard is an excellent vpn for mac um, it looks like it just had an update uh six days ago so it's definitely still updated all the time the thing about torguard that is it's kind of like it's it's kind of number one thing is that it gives you everything you pretty much need from a VPN for most people at the cheapest price. You get good speeds. It's extremely cheap. It's around $5 a month or $30 a year or like $70 for three years with promo code THOMASPARK2023. Um, so it is a really good affordable VPN, um, especially on Mac and mobile devices. The PC app is a little clunky for some reason. I don't know why. It's always just been that way. But you're pretty much going to get everything you need with TorGuard as a basic VPN service that encrypts your connection, hides your IP address, and is good for torrenting. Now, what is the cons of TorGuard? Well, it doesn't work quite as well with stream compatibility. If you do want to unblock services like Netflix and those kind of things, you're going to be a little bit limited in that you need two separate IPs from their streaming bundle. This is going to increase the price considerably. It's going to be around $60 a year and around $100 for two years. So it's not quite as affordable and you only have two locations which is a caveat of that plan. However, the good thing about that is you are the only people using those IPs, which can be kind of convenient to avoid captures and stuff like that. This is probably my number one VPN here on the channel, and it has no trackers on the website. Um, they've never had any privacy leaks or anything like that. Definitely a solid pickup. 
Next up, we're going to be talking about Surfshark. Now, why would I recommend Surfshark over something like Torgard? Well, Surfshark is really good um, in the fact that it's really good bundled offering. Um, it offers like a lot of cool extras if you do decide to buy one of their bundles on their website, um, especially something called Incogni. Now, Incogni is like a data broker removal tool. And basically what this does is remove your information from websites like white pages. So they bundle it in with Incogni, you get VPN, you get antivirus, and you get Incogni for a pretty good price. Um, around the same price as you would for Torvar's streaming bundle. Um, well, a little bit more if you do decide to get that ultimate package that includes everything, um, but you can also just get the normal VPN if you want to. Overall, this is probably one of my favorite VPNs for the bundle packages offering if those are things you want, like antivirus, incogni, um, aliases, and those kind of things are very useful for Surfshark. And its application works really good. It's very fluid and updated recently, as you can see here. Um, updated two days ago um, implemented a few fixes so it's definitely up to date all the time now we can check a look at something called nordvpn now nordvpn and surfshark are actually very similar products they're owned by um the same kind of parent company tessonet which is kind of like an incubator tech company that kind of created these vpns now um, nord is in some ways a little bit better than surfshark in terms of its features it's a little bit more expensive and it doesn't have quite as good as bundled offerings it's a little bit different it gives you like password manager um drive support and some of those different bundled offerings um the thing about nord though its application is a little bit more mature they have some interesting features um it's definitely a good option too um you might want to check out between surfshark and nord i mean you could try both if you want with my link and then refund the one you don't like that could be a good option um, as you can see here it's very popular number one in utilities um for vpns so i mean there you go a lot of people like this one and it's number three rated on my list Next up, we could check out something called Hi.me. Now, Hi.me is an excellent VPN provider. Um, they have, um, they're one of the few applications that actually has an Apple TV app, which is cool. So that's one reason I'm recommending it. Um, it's not quite as popular as other options I mentioned, um, but that said, it is updated quite frequently just a week ago um it's a very good vpn for me the speeds aren't quite as good in the united states as surfshark nord and torgard but it's still a very solid pickup um it's a little bit cheaper than surfshark and nord too so that's something to think about um but for me i just think the speeds aren't quite as good um sometimes the applications don't feel quite as future rich um and the company is just a little bit of a smaller company um overall than probably all the other ones i mentioned but it still could be worth checking out especially if you want that apple tv application lastly we could talk about proton now proton is a very good application um is it even where is it proton vpn so this is my number five rated vpn uh for some reason it's not popping up in the app store which is kind of surprising um, honestly, for that reason alone, we're probably just going to kind of cut it from this video. Um, you might be able to download it from their website or something like that, but it is kind of disappointing to see that um, it's not in the Mac app store specifically. It doesn't seem like they have a Mac app. Um, so yeah, that's that's kind of a bummer. If we look up Proton VPN with one word, maybe will that work? Um, still not really popping up. All right, guys, so those are my favorite options for Mac. Um, honestly, like I said, if you want the cheapest one, you might want to go with Torgord or Hide.me. Um, Surfshark and Nord have really good bundled offerings and are a little bit more popular and a little bit more polished, perhaps. Um, but all these options are very good. You could try each one if you want and uh, kind of check out the refund policies. Uh, Nord and Surfshark has 30 day. Torgord has seven day. Hide.me has 30 day too. So if you wanted, you could try out all these and just refund the ones you didn't like. So I'll be putting links in the description down below for the discounts for these VPNs and I'll see you in the next video very soon.